side of the road heading into Ross Sioux Falls at the very bottom and lower end. Just kind of noticed that there is some sort of mineralization in the rocks, especially quartz veins like this. See there. Move this out of the way, it's a little dirty, but you can tell. Runs in there and runs in there. So we'll keep an eye out. I'll show you what we find if we find anything. Alright, so we get down by the falls area. I'm not gonna show that too much because uh, if you check out my channel, you'll see there's a video on Rasu Falls, the whole entire upper, middle, and lower. But there is a uh, feldspar and uh, mica, and a little bit of quite a bit of quartz actually, right there. And the veins are pretty big, so we're gonna get down here and go ahead and take a look more. You see again what I mean? I used to like walk in about three seconds and you come across this huge cap of feldspar with quartz. And it runs through the veins and down there. I'm heading towards that because that's what I've seen. And I don't want to try and figure out what it is. It looks like there's a lot of quartz inside that um, feldspar vein. So I'm going to go take a look. So I just happened to notice this uh, tree down. I don't know how long ago it was down. So we're going to go do a little check to see if we can find any minerals or crystals in it because I'm seeing a lot of mineralization in the actual bedrock in here and uh, it's underneath the rock too which has been peeling from it so I'm hoping something got caught in it right here let's see this this is probably just wood no it's a rock oh I just dropped it feldspar a little bit of micas which is good that's always a good sign you know, the mica right here a grassy looking mica with a little bit of black through it. Cool piece. Just keep looking. Um, a lot of the time animals like to make these their home so they can stay warm but I don't think there's any animals in here today. Not a lot of rocks in it. I'm not seeing anything so but even underneath on the on the bedrock it usually hides some good stuff. I always look. Quartz, feldspar, mica, maybe even some serpentine, but the color, I can't tell because it's wet. But that is, uh, that is definitely an overturned tree. I like that, and I like signs of that. All right, so we're coming up to what I was looking at over at the other side there. Let's see the massive amounts of quartz in here. You can almost imagine what's under my feet right now. Feldspar, and then it opens up into quartz again if I don't fall. And then the vein does cut right straight through here, right on the bedrock into there. Now, look at all that massive chunks of feldspar and quartz. That is pretty. It'd be nice if it was a sunny day. But of course, we gotta go out in the rain. Oh, wow. Move your feet there a little bit, Braxton. There's a greenish color in there. Maybe it's just the algaes or something, because a lot of water goes through here. And it goes through there. And I just noticed a massive feldspar crystal. I may try to get that out of there. So here at Russell Falls, we're gonna try and remove the, the feldspar crystal from the quartz vein that runs through the bedrock.
All right, so we uh, we banged it away. I had it with the tools for a little bit, but after a little bit of discovery, it's right embedded into this quartz vein. And my tools are not enough to get it out. I'd have to break chunks of the of the quartz to get underneath it better. But it's a it's a good sight to see a nice big quartz or a nice big feldspar crystal like that. Feldspar comes in many different colors. As far as gems, there is labradorite, albite, ortheoclase, andesin, microline, sunstone, and most famously, Moonstone. Feldspar makes up nearly 60% of the Earth's crust. All with variables of sodium, aluminum, silicate, potassium, So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.